I watch as another boy makes dozens of jokes while a woman is being raped in the next room. And I can't help but thinking of terms like Jim Crow, Samba, and Zip Coon. Jim Crow was a make fun of people of color comedy act. A white man's joke. Long before it was a social system of white men in hoods and black men hanging from ropes. When you laugh at a rape joke, it's like wearing a tattoo on your face that says complicity. But it's easy to point the finger. And a lot harder and more necessary to look in the mirror. So I ask myself, how many times have I stayed silent? Walked away from my family's kitchen table instead of starting an argument. These poems are not us speaking, saying we're better than you, but we follow a line of warrior poets who shout to dead bones to get up because we got work to do. We're doing ours. Come asking if you're doing the same. You do not want to be the mother of Michael Nadianos, ashamed of what your son became, but that's what we are every time we choose to not speak, to do nothing in a conflict between the powerful and powerless is the side against the weak. It's not about being politically correct. It's about us raising our voices now so that when we're lying on that bed, ready to walk towards that light, we'll have some self-respect. This is what those socialized in a culture of domination fail to realize. When you deny somebody their humanity, it's your soul that dies. Your feelings of superiority and entitlement are a cancer. This is not about you saving the oppressed other. It's about you saving yourself. You have some humanity that can still be salvaged, especially if you have the courage to admit there's been times you've been a coward, but know that being bound to a whip is a prison just like being bound by chains. The depths of yourself that you lose aren't worth anything you might ever gain. And don't misunderstand, those are metaphors, not a condemnation of kinky sex. I am so completely down with people being into whatever consensual sexual activity they like best. I believe sexuality should be free. Like I believe in maleness, much less then I believe in possibility. I've had both my arms and legs strapped to a bed, locked in a soundproof room, but this gender has sometimes made me feel more confined than that. That's not to say I don't recognize the privilege of walking at night and not having to look back, but let's all recognize when we're labeled and boxed and defined by someone else, made to play by their rules and respect the hands we're dealt, but binaries are black holes of wisdom. You will never separate me from what I am and who I came from. And I will never say that I am just like you and only want to be accepted. I celebrate my difference and jump at every opportunity to say this binary gender, imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist, patriarchy needs to be rejected. I am committed to gender liberation. Who I am subverts oppressive power dynamics by undermining gender expectations. And don't think for a second. These are two separate issues. When a man calls a man a woman, think Aryans calling people Jews. That's the dynamic and we should never forget it. Heteronormativity and sexism are two different sides of the same blade, but I want to be molded by echoes of the future, not define myself in gender tombs that were made by the dead for the living. I live to become the thing about answers is you do not have to choose just one Cuando una mujer avanza, no hay hombre que retrocida. As they say in Oaxaca, when you move forward, I am not held back. The rising of the sun doesn't cause the downfall of the moon. My way to freedom gets easier because of your steps, your struggle, this trailblazing, everything you speak, and every little thing that you do.